Hurricane Center still going up with it saying a 60% chance for development with this system as we get into this area, which would really be Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday time frame. And the models are suggesting, really, it depends on which one you look at, that it may go a little bit to the east of Florida, but still that's up in the air. <laughs> what are we talking about? Well, we're, there's nothing really to show you. I mean, look, this fell apart. It's this big, broad area of circulation, and you actually start to see a little bit more of convection, but not a whole lot. I think that this will increase over the next 24 to 36 hours in this area here, northeast of most of the islands. So right now, there's just not much really to go with. It's wrapped with dry air. There's some dust, Saharan dust on the other side of this. So not a lot of shear, which would knock it off. But right now, it's still going to struggle to get anywhere near any kind of development. This is the European forecast model. This is the one that's been picking up on it. This is Friday at 5 o'clock. There's the Turks and Caicos, uh, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico over here. No closed low, no nothing really organized. Watch as we go through Saturday evening. That's about 10 o'clock Saturday night. Look at the Bahamas, all the rain. Still no closed low. Yesterday's runs had this a little bit better organized. Today, the European model is saying, eh, yeah, it might close off a low, but it would be maybe Sunday night. If this were to happen, we'd have a real dry day on Saturday and then Sunday, especially the East Coast and Southeast Florida would see some heavier rain. We're talking a tropical wave coming through. It's not a wind maker at all. If this were to happen, it could be though, and that's why it has a 60% chance of developing. This is Monday at 4 p.m. Look at the Southeast coast up into the Carolinas, and you can see by Tuesday at 5 p.m. Now the GFS just says this thing's too weak. It's not going to do anything. So this is Friday night with a big broad wave here, Cuba, the Bahamas, and then because it's weaker, what typically happens is they will go further Wester, weaker Wester. Right, and so the GFS does that. It takes some rain here Saturday and Sunday. This is Sunday evening. Doesn't develop it, no wind with it. But then by Monday evening, Tuesday evening, Wednesday evening, it starts to drift it off back to the west. Right now, we're kind of leaning on the European, but the, the model's still way up in the air. And so we'll be keeping an eye on it for you. I'm not worried about this at all at this point, but it is something that we'll keep an eye on for you.